With Facebook custom audiences and Drip, you can make a personalized marketing experience for each of your customers. Today, we'll get our Facebook and Drip accounts synced up and learn how to create a browse product abandonment workflow. Our goal is to get customers who looked at a product but didn't purchase it back onto our site and then to our checkout page by using a Facebook ad. First, we'll need to connect Drip and Facebook. If you don't already have a Facebook business account, you'll need to create one through the Facebook business page. You need to be listed as an admin on both your Drip and Facebook business manager accounts. We'll want to make sure we're signed in with our business manager account and not our personal Facebook page when we connect Drip to Facebook. So take a moment to double check and make sure you close out of any other Facebook pages or windows. But be aware that you do use your personal Facebook username and password to sign into Business Manager. In your Drip account settings, click Integrations, select Facebook Custom Audiences, and click Authorize. Now let's double check that my business page is connected. Great, my accounts are integrated. If you aren't seeing the correct Facebook account listed here, you'll want to disconnect the Facebook page from your Drip account and restart the integration process. Now that we're connected, let's create a workflow. Give it a title and let's add our trigger. If you're integrated with Shopify, Magento, or the Shopper Activity API, you'll see the View to Product trigger. For this workflow, I'll use Shopify in my trigger. We'll then add an action node. Select Facebook from the left-hand dropdown, select Add to Custom Audience from the right-hand dropdown, and enter the custom audience we'd like people to be added to. When someone becomes a part of this custom audience, they'll receive a targeted ad for the product they browsed but didn't purchase. Don't sweat it if you don't already have a custom audience created in Facebook, as you can just create one in Drip. Since we don't want to keep sending people in this workflow the same ad forever and ever, let's add a few conditions. First, we'll add a time delay node set to 24 hours. Then, let's add an action node that will remove them from this Facebook custom audience. We'll also add a goal node of made a purchase, which will automatically remove them from this custom audience before the 24 hour delay is over if they end up returning to the site and making a purchase. This looks great. Shoppers will trigger this workflow when they viewed a product but didn't purchase it. This workflow will add them to the Facebook custom audience, wait 24 hours, and then remove them from the Facebook custom audience. If they do make a purchase before the end of the 24 hour delay, they'll achieve the goal and be removed from the audience even sooner. Now that we're all set, let's activate this workflow. Facebook custom audiences are a great way to engage personally with people who interact with your brand through social media and Drip makes it as seamless as possible.